Happy New Year and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put a dart in a plain sleeve. This will be a very important element in some of the lessons that I have coming up. Having a dart in the sleeve gives a better bend in the sleeve. It also changes the grain line from the elbow down. The sleeve pattern on the right illustrates this. To begin with, you will need a tracing of your sleeve sloper and paper for your new pattern. On your fresh paper, establish your length grain line, which is the red line, your bicep line, and your elbow line, and fill those in. Lay your tracing down on the pattern paper, aligning all of the grain lines. Stabilize with straight pins from the elbow up. We're going to do the slash and spread method to make this new pattern. Slash along the elbow line from the back to the front, leaving a small hinge so the pattern doesn't fall apart. The two notches in the back of the cap indicate the back of the sleeve. Spread the slash line one inch and secure with either removable tape or pins. Trace the outside edges of the new pattern shape onto the pattern paper. On the elbow line, from the red length grain line to the dart, divide this area in three. Lay your ruler at the second of the three sections and drop it down to the bottom of the slash to create the new dart. Carefully fold the dart completely shut and facing down. This is the direction you would wear a dart in a sleeve. Using removable tape or straight pins, secure the dart shut. With your ruler, add the desired seam allowance and cut to true the dart. Open the dart and create the notches. Add seam allowance to the other side and fold along the hemline and cut. When you fold the hem up and then cut along the outside of the seam allowance, you are cording the hem. This means when you unfold the hem, the shape at the bottom is perfect for sewing. Determine your hem allowance, cut, and add notches at the hemline. Add seam allowance around the cap of the sleeve Using your very form curve or a French curve, connect all the dashes to create perfect seam allowance. The red dots along the cap line indicate all of the notches transferred from the sloper. So now you need to extend those into the seam allowance to create notches. One of the last steps I take is to fold the dart shut, fold the pattern in half, and check to make sure that both seams are exactly the same length. 
because this elbow dart has changed the grain line from the elbow down, we want to straighten the grain line. The grain line above the elbow is the correct line, so we simply straighten it to the hem. Remove the original tracing. Fill in all pertinent information, including seam allowance. I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial. There are many lessons ahead, so stay tuned and see you next time.